Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I would like to share with you some of my most favorite nude lipsticks that I like to wear on a daily basis. And I do prefer lipsticks that have a little bit of a creamier and satin finish. So that is why I'm not going to be including any liquid lipsticks because they're just not my favorite. If you would like to find out what those lipsticks are, just keep on watching. So we're going to start from the lightest to the deepest shade. And the first lightest nude that I like to wear is from Burberry. And this one is Burberry Kisses. And this is in the shade Nude Beige. This one has quite a sheer consistency. It has like a little bit of a slip to it. So it's not that long wearing and the color is kind of a little bit transparent. It's not fully opaque. So you do have to build this up a bit. I do like to pair this with like smokier eye looks. I just think it pairs really well with those makeup looks. And it's just like a nice true nude yeah it doesn't look warm or cool it can look kind of patchy sometimes so i do need to just build it up quite a bit to get like full opacity with this one and the next lipstick that i have to share with you is from chanel and this is called the Rouge coco flash in the shade casual and this one is actually quite similar to the burberry one shade wise and also formula wise i would say but this one is actually glossier and shinier than the burberry one it feels kind of like a lip balm but it does provide some color but you do need to build it up as well with this lipstick however i really enjoy the formula i think it is very comfortable on the days that i feel a little lazy and i don't want to put on any lip balm or any lip liner i can just put this straight on my lips and it does give some hydration to my lips and it keeps my lips looking shiny and glossy i just think it is a really good formula and this is a really really nice color however if i'm not wearing that much eye makeup this one can make me look a little pale so i do need to choose uh, what kind of makeup i am going to pair this with the next lipstick i'm sure you've heard me talk about many times before because it is one of my most favorite like my holy grail nude lipstick and this one is the charlotte tilbury matte revolution lipstick and this is in the shade very victoria and i think i did mention this before as well that this is basically my lips but better it looks almost exactly like my lip color and the formula is not too matte at all i would say yeah it's not uncomfortable at all i really enjoy this lipstick formula from charlotte tilbury it's like a neutral nude but it's not too light and it's not too dark it's kind of like somewhere in between and i would say it has a little bit of brown in it just a hint of brown and it just looks good with all of my eye looks like absolutely this one i can definitely wear with any eye looks that i have on it just goes with everything the formula is just one of the best in my opinion i really really enjoy this lipstick now we're moving on to a deeper nude shade and this is from pat mcgrath and this is the matte trans lipstick in the shade 1995 this one, I would say, is kind of like a dusty rose shade with some brown in it. Like the name 1995 is supposed to be one of those like 90s brown nudes that used to be very popular. And I would say that is correct, but it's not too brown. I think it's just like a perfect shade that you can match with so many different looks. It's just a bit deeper than the ones that I mentioned earlier but this one is super pigmented so you definitely need a lip liner with this it is a little hard to just apply this directly onto your lips if you don't have any lip liner on since it's so pigmented it's harder to get like a crisp line so I do recommend using a lip liner with this one as for the formula I would say it is a little bit drying 
but I feel like if I just put like any kinds of lip balm underneath, it's going to feel much more comfortable. Yeah, so just don't forget to use a lip balm whenever you wear this formula of um, Pat McGrath. But it's just a really beautiful dusty rose, like a brownish nude shade. I feel like this would suit so many different skin tones as well, not only on light skins. It would look good on deeper skin tones as well, I would say. And last but not least is the lipstick that I am wearing on my lips today. And it is the Tom Ford Lip Contour Duo in this packaging. I believe it is still available, I hope it is, but it did come out maybe last year. This is in the shade Public Display. One end comes with a kind of like a lip liner and the other end comes with the lipstick and it is pretty small considering how much this cost, but I do really love the color. It's just like a deep warm nude, almost terracotta yeah but not bright so it does pair really well with like warm eye makeup like today for example I'm wearing some gold and kind of like copper eyeshadow and it just pairs really well with this eye makeup I just love it so much usually I'm not really into warm tones on my skin but I do really really love this color I think it just adds like a bit of a drama and it's not too bright yeah and it's just really really good a beautiful color and i would say it's fall appropriate as well so if you are looking for like a deep warm nude to wear in the fall time i would say this is another good option so that completes this video guys please share your favorite nude lipsticks in the comments below if you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned today, you can also leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them for you. And before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I will see you guys soon. Bye!